Now we're gonna fi finish that. Now we can go to the present. Now the Borshville Club is now it's unchecked. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> uh, where we could we could go now we could go anywhere we want but uh, whatever wherever we go we won't be able to complete the place so um uh, logically I guess I'll go to the Borscht Bowl Club after Phoenix is, uh, after what Phoenix has said anyway so this is the first time we're actually at the club huh. I'll be taking my leave now I still have some work to do back at the office. Then I guess I'll go back to my piano. To be honest, it's better when you aren't playing. This frigid culinary dungeon almost feels comfortable. Later, then. Ah, <sighs> two hours left on my shift. Wonder if we'll get any customers tonight. Card players? <clears throat> Do you know who I am? Who I am? No, but if you hum it, I can play it. Just kidding, I don't do requests. And he's not very good at playing either. But why does he look familiar? How about a different sort of request? You see, I play cards. A locket. He's wearing a locket. Oh, a customer. I was just hoping someone would come in and save me from a night at the Keys. I seek a true competition. I have heard Borscht Bull Club is the place for this. Now I see the rumor is true. And this is a friend of yours? I don't mind me, I'm just your friendly neighborhood newsman. Ah, he will not be playing tonight. When his business is finished, I shall send him home. This competition will be between us, no others. The right talent agency represents two artists. And I number two. I play piano. Well, sort of. It's actually just a front for my real talent, which is playing poker. Don't ask me how I got started, I don't remember. But I'm good. Real good. It didn't take long for the rumors to get around. Go to the Borscht Bowl Club if you want a real game. That guy's never lost. People don't come to hear me tickle the ivory. They will come to watch me play cards. To, is this a CD poker club? No, it's a restaurant. We don't play for high stakes. There's no money involved. But real players carry cash, and they're always thirsty. It's a handy source of income for the club owner. Then let's compete. I'll take you to the room. The hideout, yes, but before we go... Yes? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Shady Smith. Hey, this is the victim from the first case. Oh, and I'm Brushel, Spark Brushel, news reporter! Oh, I'm... No, no. Phoenix Wright. Huh? You must always look a man in the eye when you make your introductions. You still do not know who I am? Have we met? Ah! Oh. Today, in this courtroom. You cannot declare me guilty. What are you talking about? I am talking... About this! Okay, how many times do I have to see this scene? No, 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 The best escape! Find him, quick! Better close all the exits from the building! Yeah, 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 okay, whatever. On the devil, he must not be allowed to escape! Y you can't be... But you're... Zach Ramari? Yes, the reincarnation act of the century. Pity I have only an audience of one. You. Zach Ramari? This must be a bad dream. In a sense, this guy ruined my life. It's like, seriously. You dumped a child on him. Like, seriously. You there. D da we will play soon. Re ready the room. So this is before he get he gets killed. Da, I will be preparing the hideout for you. She came back, kind of. I don't know. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you really him, the, Za the Zach Ramari? No, I am Shady Smith. Remember this. How many years has it been now? Six. In exactly three days from now, it will be seven. I caused you much inconvenience, I fear. Yeah, you could say that. Is she well? Trucy, I mean. She's fine. I've got her working already. Hope you don't mind. I hardly need to express my gratitude, but you have it. This is why I have come. That and to set on matter of cards. You want to play cards with him? You, uh, what? By which you mean poker? Those eyes. He's serious. I despise losing above all else. 
And so I have decided that I will win tonight, no matter what it takes. Even though he gets killed at the end. I know this guy's type, and they're dangerous. Everything's above the competition, all else is secondary. Perhaps we should take this time to talk before we play. I know you have much to ask me. And I, you. And we can actually examine the Borstal Club. Let's examine the piano. I must say, it comes as a quite surprise. I never knew you played. I'd do anything else if I could, believe me. Oh yeah, there's something you could help me with. Do you think you can make that piano disappear? It'd be help it'd help out a lot. A ways, really. <laughs> Is this a <pressure? laughs> <laughs> you say the funniest things with the straightest face. People always tell me that, so I wasn't joking. Yeah, and then there's the grape juice. This is grape juice. Is it refreshing? I usually drink too much and it ends up making me thirsty. Oh, Mr. Wright, there is something inside that bottle. Huh? It's my business card. Hey, it's that, it's that the, 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 the ace. You aren't surprised at all? Perhaps you don't like magic? I sure felt surprised. Maybe I had my poker face on. Hey, hey. And the table. One of the restaurant tables. This one's the closest to the piano, which makes it the hardest to eat at, I hear. On days when I'm playing, that is. What do you think about the ukulele? The sound is slight the noise curtailed. A ukulele in a Russian restaurant? Then you must go to a Hawaiian restaurant. Hawaiian shirts don't go with my complexion. <laughs> I give up. Anyway, the meaning of competition. Why on earth would you want to challenge him? We competed that day seven years ago, too. Ah, yes, you must have been surprised. Call to the detention center out of the blue. Two. One. Showdown time. Jeez, this is like deja vu. Kind of. I... I lost. Who said that? I don't know who says what. It's only a game of poker. A game I played for a long time and only lost twice. And that's Zach saying this, I think. Who was the first? The man I killed, of course. So, Zach lost to... Maggie Gamari. Because that's the man he killed, but not really. Or... We think that's the case. You choose your defense attorneys for playing poker. Some are hire, uh, hired, others fired. When you compete, you see a man's true nature. You know what I speak of. I know that you do. Trucy's power? Trucy? She is in a class of her own. What is this power anyway? For seven years I've played poker here at the Borscht Bowl Club, and I've never lost once. I'm good, but not that good. I win because whenever there's a big game, I bring in Trucy. And she sends me signals. Daddy, he's got a good hand. He might have a chance to be that quick. Better call him soon. Cheating? Can you tell me what her power is? Judging a person's thoughts by reading their reaction is a staple of performance magic. But those of Trucy's line possess far greater skill. Her line? Recall, you were the second man to whom I've lost. Manny Fingamari. That was the first time I learned of this power, as you call it. Wait, so you're saying her power is genetic? It's just an in the Grandmari blood or something? Blood? Already hiding something from us? I'm sorry, but this is not something to tell lightly to outsiders. And it is nothing you need to know at, the, at this time. Some kind of Gramari secret then? Fine. Oh, uh, you better tell us, because you're going to be dead soon. <laughs> About Trucy. I'm terrible. Jeez. She's 15 this year. Doesn't she want, he want to see her daughter? Is bleh. Doesn't he want to see his daughter after so long? She's still trying her best to follow in your footsteps, you know? I see. When I planned my disappearance act, it, disappearing act, it was the thought of her alone that gave me pause. Wait, you were planning on vanishing from the get-go? Yes, and for that I must apologize. However, I could not be found guilty that day. Because of this. This? A transfer of rights. You see the signature? A, trans a transfer of... That's Magnifique Amari's signature, isn't it? 
I hereby give all rights to the secret staging and performance of my magic to the recipient named below, and the recipient's name is you, Zakramari. Yes, it is I. Wait, this page looks torn. You recall the diary, yes? How can we forget about that diary? First, take a look at the diary. No, the page has been clearly been ripped out, as it just happens. I have cleared what I believe to be the missing page. But wait, let me see that. How could I forget? That scrap of paper lost me my attorney's badge. This is the real page that was torn from the book. Why didn't she give it to us during the trial? Okay, whatever. Man, if you gave it to me that night, you could have told me this earlier, like seven years earlier. Once again, I must apologize. It was all I could do to prepare for my escape from that courtroom. Ugh. Just for all rights. The greatest of Magnifique Romare's illusions are true art. As such, they were all they are well protected by this document. Only its bearer may perform as his illusions on stage. Sounds like a pretty important thing to have if you're his disciple. As the rightful heir to his art, I too wanted a rightful heir. Rightful? I'm sure you know who I chose as my successor. Your daughter. That is why I have risked all to come here tonight. Brushel? Sir! Ah, here you go! What's this? A letter passing the rights I have inherited to Trucy. I would have you sign here as a witness. B but I'm not a lawyer anymore, and you need a public notary. Notary, besides, ah, I'm a not look like it. Ah, but I'm a nerd certified notary. Yeah, you don't look like it. You are. By day I wear notaries' glasses and hunt for news. Also, by day I wear no reporters' glasses and notarize. When I take off the glasses, I can't see very well. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Your signature, please. This is the first reason I have come here tonight. Does anyone else know you have the performance rights, Zach? I don't know. So that was the letter we got. Uh, I finally figured it out. Now I know why you've come out of hiding only now. It's been seven years, you said? Precisely. Seven years. There's a law that covers your situation. After seven years, missing persons are considered to be legally deceased. So if someone was to vanish from the face of the earth seven years ago, they would lose all rights as a living person after seven years from that day. Not to mention all their possessions. Exactly. Which is why I am here. I risk showing my face in public for the sake of this document. Before my seven years are up, you might say I am securing my daughter's inheritance. But do you really need this document? Wouldn't Tracy inherit your estate automatically? Not in this case, I'm afraid. This case? Yes, I received the performance rights from Magnifi and Gramari. However, this was done in secret without witnesses. There, before Magnifi died, two potential successors to his repertoire were named. Myself, Zach Gramari, and Valent Gramari. Not Trucy. I see, so you do need this document. I have known Brussel since before I vanished. He is a man I trust. Now, only three know of my rebirth. I took the liberty of looking into Trucy's background, and found you had no other close kin. It is as you say. Okay... I was kind of hoping he'd say something about the mother at this point. I know everyone else, but Trucy's mother is a mystery. Uh, I can tell you, but we do for this... Uh, Grimari secret thing, uh, we don't have enough information to break his... ...lock, so I'm gonna leave for now. And he'll be there when we come back, don't worry. He's not gonna die. Anyway, go back to the past. <laughs>